So there is a look at Districts 31 and 32-3A, all of our 3A teams in the Rio Grande Valley right here on Countdown to kick off 2011. Now it's time to talk about it and make our picks. And who have we got to do it? Well, it's our Friday night crew. Of course, Brendan Fitzgerald, Action Force Sports reporter. You see him here all the time. He's going to be out there Friday nights. Along with Alex Del Barrio, ADB, the RGV sports guy, he's going to be doing our games on Friday nights for Friday Sports Extra as well. So let's get into it, guys. 32-3A, 31-3A. Let's start with 32-3A since there's more Valley teams in that district than anything else. Uh, Brendan, how do you see this district playing out just, just from the outside looking in? Yeah, I think, I think on paper it's a pretty easy district to call. You look at what Rio Hondo has coming back. Juan Puga, experienced quarterback. Sean O'Brien on the outside, one of the best athletes uh, certainly in that district. I think uh, it's Rio Hondo's district to lose in terms of uh, when you look at them on paper, everyone's playing catch-up, and Rio Hondo is really looking to take steps further. The district championship is not even their most important thing because they've been one and done in the playoffs in years past. All right, so let's go ahead and, and see your picks then. So you've got Rio Hondo winning, and then you've got what? I've got Rio Hondo one. I'm going to go ahead and say Zapata two. Uh, I think it's going to come down to the Rio Hondo Zapata game, who decides uh, the district championship there. I think PI comes in at number three, and I think Progresso, you know, they're still n not quite there yet as far mm -hmm. as being a, maybe a top two team, but I think they come in at number four there. How about you, Brendan? Yeah, I, uh, I agree at the top. Obviously, I think we all do in Rio Hondo, but I think after that, I'm going to pick Progresso because I think uh, experience plays just such a big factor. they got 16 starters coming back. Uh, and then Zapata, like you said, they got their quarterback coming back. That's never a bad thing to have a kid uh, running the show that's been there before. All right. Well, let's go ahead and, and make it three for three on A, picking Rio Hondo to win this, and B, picking Progresso to make to the playoffs for the first time since 1990. This is, this is pretty heady yeah. stuff for the yeah. Red Ants, guys. They have, it's been 21 long years since they've made the playoffs, but like you guys say, they've got experience, they've got a big line, they've got big linebackers, they've, they're not just running the ball with one back anymore, I, uh, they're spreading out the offense, they've got the tools to do it. I've got them coming in third in the district as well. I'm, yeah, Alex, I, I forgot, you've got them fourth, and there's only three teams making it in 32-3A, so you don't have them making right. the playoffs. I've actually got a surprise team that we haven't talked about yet making the playoffs. I've got Gruya, I've got the Gators coming in in second place in in that district in 32-3. Of course, coming off the yeah. huge win at the end of the season last year, Coach Abel Gonzalez's team against uh, Zapata. They look good. They've got their big running back, Ray Garza, back. He was injured for most of last year. And they got Beto Bazan back, who came in for the injured Ray Garza and, and put up big numbers on his own. So I've got uh, Gruya coming in there. Yeah, Gruya the being made in 32-3, according to you. Right? Well, Gruya making it for the first time, Progresso making it for the uh, for the first time since 1990. And, of course, I have to go with chalk on, on this with the three hundreds of the TI. But this district is always fun, and the reason why is there's always a big upset, and it's always in the first couple weeks of district in 32 3. It shakes up the whole complexion of the rest of the year where it becomes a lot of must win games come week seven, week eight, week nine, week ten. Uh, before we get on to our next discussion, let's go ahead and, and quickly go over 31 3A, which basically is. Coastal Bend versus Willacy County, and uh, our Willacy County teams, Lyford, Raymondville, of course, Raymondville won this district last year, Alex Leal's last season as the head coach up with the Bearcats. Lyford, uh, after winning the district uh, the year earlier, did not make the playoffs last year, so let me ask you guys. Lyford, Raymondville, how do they do against Corpus Christi Ray, Corpus Christi Miller, Orange Grove, Robstown? Alex, let's start with you. Well, um, Raymondville, of course, as you mentioned earlier, Alex Real uh, retired in the off season, and you know Joe Gonzalez has you know obviously huge shoes to fill there. I think he'll do a good job. Uh, Raymondville's got a tough, uh, tough road to hose here. I don't think Raymondville gets in. I think there's the best chance would go to Lyford. Um, I, I think that they've got a shot to get in as the number three team in that district, but uh, they need to come up with an upset victory somewhere along the way. I'll take yeah. Raymond. I'll take the opposite of you, actually. Uh, I'll take Raymondville to make, Lyford to miss. When you look at the uh, head coach changing, it, I don't see much that's going to change because Joe Gonzalez is the one who actually signals all the plays from the sidelines. He did that last week at the uh, scrimmage at Porter. They've got some athletes. They're new to the, uh, to the spotlight in terms of the quarterback and the running back. But uh, I think that they'll be able to pick off, maybe not win the district, but I think they'll get back to the postseason. Well, I've got Lyford going back. I think, uh, you know, last year I think was an aberration. I, 
Coach Infante always has that team, you know, looking at their uh, their coded, <laughs> color coded uh, wristbands and, and playing that no huddle spread offense. They're great at it. I, I think they're going to come back, and I think they're going to do very well. Perhaps finish first or second in that district. I've got Raymondville making the playoffs, not because I think that they're as good as last year, because they're not. Mm. Uh, it's not just because of a new coach. It's because of all the guys they lost between Skyler James, P.J. Moreno, all those guys. But uh, they're in a small district. There's no way Robstown makes the playoffs tw two years in a row, not after yeah. not making it in like 20 years. So I've got Raymondville sneaking into the playoffs along with uh, uh, life right there. All right, guys, that is it for this portion of Countdown to Kickoff 2011. We are coming right back, however, and we're going to take a look at District 32-5A. Always some surprises in there. It's all when we come back. Yeah. 